Hello, you're welcome to this tutorial session on how to get enrolled as a Cisco Net Acad student. Now, this video is just a small tutorial or a short tutorial for those who have been really newly enrolled in a course or for the group of people who have never um, used Cisco platform before or group of people who have been enrolled but are finding difficulty on how to get navigated around the Cisco Net Acad platform. This to say you are welcome. Now to start up with Cisco Net Acad simply means Cisco Networking Academy. Now this is the, the name Networking Academy and the site is netacad.com. So for all Cisco Academy programs, uh, it is hosted on this particular platform. Now, there are multiple ways of getting enrolled into the course, but for the one that we are going to go through today is when a self-enrollment link has been sent to you. When you have received the self-enrollment link, what do you do? How do you get yourself registered? All right, so for instance, I am going to now pick a particular link. So assuming I've been given a link, this is a self-enrollment link to register, to get myself enrolled. This is for uh, a class that has been created. So how do I get myself enrolled in this particular link? The most important thing I need to just do is, okay, I am already signed in. Let me log out and then, um, uh, relaunch the, the link so that you would be able to see what I'm talking about. Okay. All right. So I have successfully logged out. So this is assuming that I have not logged in. I have not been enrolled uh, to a particular course. All right. So if I just paste the link, if I paste the link now, very well, this is the environment that is going to show me Okay, so this is the enrollment um, platform. So it says, click on the link provided for this course. So this is the link in this particular case, this link here that I've posted here. Enter your credentials, that is your first name. So I'm going to enter my name. So maybe my name is uh, Sati and then Dapel. All right, so uh, check your, once you do that, uh, enter your email. Let me enter Dapel Sati at yahoo.com all right so i have this email so once i click submit then it says check your inbox all right your email uh for an enrollment notification and then uh click on it to enter the portal so let me submit so i'm going to now submit now once i submit you see it says success please log in to net Acad, uh, for your new course, all right? So um, the, 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 in this particular scenario, I have a, a net account login details, all right? Um, so all I'm just supposed to do is to log into my net account. But assuming I don't have, what am I supposed to do, okay? I'm supposed to refer to my email address. So let's go to the email address um, so that we'll see. So just a second. All right, so I have logged into my email now. Now I'm going to show you uh, two notifications um, for two different scenarios, okay? So if you have not been registered with Cisco Net Academy program uh, before, now once you fill that form, this is what you're going to see. Uh, dear Satis Admiral Dapel, welcome to Cisco Network Academy. To activate your account, click the link below. So once you click this link below, it's going to give you a form where you are going to create your password, the password you're going to be using for your networking academy. But for a good number of you who have been enrolled before, probably in entrepreneurship course or any other Cisco course, this is not the message you're going to see. You're going to see this particular message. Welcome, you are now enrolled in the Cisco Networking Academy. Then it will tell you the course, all right? It says to simply log in, visit this, all right? That is the portal. So now this is what, this is the mail you are going to see. So you're supposed to go to this website netacad.com slash portal in order to log in. So I have two options. I can just decide to just click this link here 
and it's going to uh, redirect me straight to the portal where I'm going to enter my username and password or I should just type on this website, netacad.com. If I type netacad.com, then I come to login here, where it says login, then I click login, then it's going to take me to where, so you see, it's bringing me to the same particular place. So I'm going to type in my email address, which is um, tapelsati at yahoo.com. All right, so if I say next, if I say next, it's going to now log me. Okay, to the, uh, I'm going to enter my password. All right, then I say sign in. Once I say sign in, it's going to bring me to the NetAcad platform. Can you see? This is the I'm learning. Okay, this is the I'm learning, and this is the course. Now, if I want to find out, um, how to navigate through this particular course is very, very simple. All right. All I just need to do, this is the course. I will just click launch course. All right. Once I click launch course, once I click launch course, um, let me do a small tour. It says, welcome to your course main page. This brief tour will highlight some key features to help you in your learning journey. If you do not want to view your tour at this time, click enter, which is here, and you can revisit anytime. That is what I just did. Okay. So here is the site links. Um, uh, this actually always shows the location that you are in. So currently I am in home. I am in, I'm learning and I am in this particular course. All right. So the environment allows you to quickly return to a previous page, such as the I'm learning and things like that. Now, this environment is the main course activity area where you're going to see the courses you're going to take, the courses, the chapter modules, and things like that, okay? So these are all different courses that you are going to see in this particular page. So now, what if I am being enrolled in another course? Assuming this is an entrepreneurship course. So assuming I am going to be enrolled into a uh, cyber security course. Let me enroll myself into cyber security course and then you'll see how it's going. Okay, so assuming I have enrolled myself already, so I'm going to now uh, refresh and then I should see an additional course here. Can you see? So there are two courses here. This course is cyber security, MTN ICT group four. Okay, and this is MTN ICT group four for uh, entrepreneurship. All right, so this course is introduction. So the more courses you are enrolled in, you're going to see them appear in this particular environment. So, and the, 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 the platform is the same, like you see in the introduction to cybersecurity is the same. So if I come to the tour, I should be able to see the same tour information. It's going to tell me about the navigation areas where I'm learning and then uh, the, the course that I'm enrolled in is going to tell me about the course area. Can you see? This is the course area. This is chapter one. This is the, to launch the course. These are the quizzes. This is chapter two. Uh, attacks, concept, and techniques. Launch the course, the quizzes, and things like that. So you can go on and on. You go to here. It tells you about the quick links where you have your resources, your quizzes, your forums. You come down here. If there are any activities that the instructor have posted, maybe uh, a deadline for a quiz, deadline for an exam or something like that, you find it um, actually here. And then this is um, for the talk. Additionally, if you want to check your grade books, I can come down to grades here. And then under grade, I'm going to see uh, the quizzes that you have, all right? So I have chapter one, this, this is the ethic quiz, this is mandatory, and then all others are also mandatory, okay? So you're supposed to do the quizzes, then you do the end of course feedback before you can write the final exam. So if I click, for instance, the ethics quiz, I want to find out what it looks like. Um, I've already done the ethics quiz before, and uh, assuming I want to reattempt it, so this is it. So I can begin to pick um, the answers as at random. So you read the questions and uh, pick a particular option as answer, uh, pick and then pick an option as answer, 
you know, something like that. So once you finish, you finish, you submit, it's going to tell you um, whether you have answered all or you have not answered. All right, then you say submit and finish, submit all and finish. This is this applies to all your tests and all your exams. So as you as you can see now, uh, it will tell me this is my grade forty out of hundred, and then uh, this is I fail number one, I pass two, three, I fail four, five. All right, so it will give me details about the course um, as regards this. So this basically is how you can do your your assessments, your tests, your exams, and stuff like that. So I can always come back to, to home, back to the main environment. If I want to launch the course, for instance, for chapter one, I can just say launch chapter one. If I launch chapter one, it comes me to this environment. I click this arrow pointing up. Uh, and then this is chapter one, okay? The idea is you read the content and then you click next. You read what is cybersecurity. You read the content, you tick next. You read the content, content, you click next. And you continue to move until you end it. If you want to look at the summary, this is chapter one, two, three, four, and five. All right. And then you can pick at any point in time and study. We have the course index. The course index tells you when you have um, maybe the labs. You see, we have labs in chapter one. We have two labs. In chapter three, we have one, two, three, four labs. So chapter one and chapter three has labs that you, we are supposed to do. So you are supposed to take note of these labs. So you, you find the labs here. You can find videos. Um, for instance, <clears throat> we have a video in chapter one and uh, chapter four. So video in chapter one, for instance, if I click this video, it's about what is cyber warfare. Uh, this is the video, if you just click. Um, you know, when it comes to security news, it's always puzzling what gets reported. All right, so, years of this show, you know, there's a very so basically it's going to play and stuff like that. So these are just but some of the resources you can have, just come to course index and then packet tracer, we don't have any packet tracer here. So basically this is what we have, all right? Um, you can search for any item or any information or any detail. You can search for it here. Um, you can actually um, come back to the background and pick any background to pick to start. Maybe I want to start with chapter three and then I pick this and then I start this. Then it's going to launch um, the course content for me. All right. So um, I believe this, this, I hope this has been uh, uh, very beneficial um, to you. Uh, once you are done from this um, uh, 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 environment, um, you can always um, exit if you so wish. Okay, you can always exit uh, if you so wish. But one thing I forgot to inform you guys is that um, it is always good to take note of your grades. Okay, it's always good to take note of your your grades and then your grades is going to help you in your transcript um, at the end of the course. All right. So um, I think this is all that I have to show you. I hope this course has, this tutorial has been beneficial to you. Um, all right. So good luck. I wish you the best.